Peace and welcome to our story time brought to you by our Niagara Falls Underground Railroad Heritage Center and produced by the Atlanta School for Gifted Youngsters. You know, kids, reading is very important because through books you can learn about yourself and the world around you. Through our story time, we're going to share with you some amazing books, and I know you're going to enjoy today's story. So grab your healthy snacks, sit on back, and enjoy today's story. Earth Mother, written by Ellen Jackson. Illustrations by Leo and Diane Dillon. Read with permission by Walker and Company. Earth Mother awoke with the dawn. She fanned her sacred smoke in each of the four directions. Then she walked across the land singing a morning song. Earth Mother gave the beetles shiny jackets. She hung green acorns on the oaks. Bending low, she placed a piece of summer in a flower's seed. She turned her gaze to the sage-covered deserts and blew across the mesas. A hawk cupped the warm air with its wings. Original man greeted Earth Mother as she walked beside the river. He held a net in his hands to catch frogs for breakfast. You are kind to me, Earth Mother, said Original Man. You have sent frog to fill my belly and I am grateful. Original Man slapped his face. But why have you sent this wretched mosquito to torment me? To sting me at night and drive me from my bed, he asked. Mosquito is bad, bad, bad. Frog, on the other hand, is sweet, tasty, and oh so wonderfully delicious. If there were more frogs and no mosquitoes, none at all, this world would be perfect. Original man went back to the business of hunting for frogs. Earth Mother walked on. Earth Mother walked across the African savanna wearing a robe fringed with falling rain. She filled the water holes and sharpened the thorn bushes. Her hand guided a sunbird to a blossom sweet with nectar. She climbed a peak and flung a spear of lightning into the sky. The mountains felt the sting and fury of her storm. In the north, Earth Mother powdered the trees with snow. Tiny crystals gleamed in the air like diamond dust. In the afternoon, Earth Mother heard Frog calling. Frog sat on a rock near a lake. With a flick of its tongue, he caught a small insect and swallowed it. Thank you, Earth Mother, said Frog. Mosquitoes and her sisters fill my belly and give me life. But why have you sent Original Man to catch and eat me? Original Man is bad, bad, bad. Sweet, delicious mosquitoes, on the other hand, makes me happy. If there were more mosquitoes and no Original Man, this world would be perfect. Earth Mother smiled and walked on. In the evening, Earth Mother dived with the whales into the depths of the ocean. Blue-green light trailed from her fingertips. A silver moon rose on the horizon. Earth Mother cradled an otter in a tangle of seaweed, rocking him on the waves. It was nighttime. As Earth Mother walked through a meadow, she heard a tiny voice. Earth Mother. It is I, Mosquito, said the owner of a voice. Frog will surely feast on me tomorrow or the next day. He has already caught most of my sisters. But I am grateful for original man who lives by the river. He is tender and delicious when I bite him in his bed. What's needed is more original men and none of those useless frogs. Then this world would be perfect. 
Earth Mother sighed. Once more, she walked on. Earth Mother climbed the hill to her cloud teepee. She spangled a tree with fireflies. She spread spiderweb lace on the grass. Earth Mother said good night to the beetles, to the hawks, to the people, to the sunbirds, to the frogs, to the whales, to the otters, to the mosquitoes, to the fireflies, to her children everywhere. Then she went to sleep. And the world, in its own way, was perfect.